I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will explore different conditions for selecting a committee. The question here is, there are 10 doctors and 8 nurses in emergency. How many ways could a 5 member committee be chosen if there are 4 different conditions, right? The very first one is, there was no restriction at all, right? So that's the first one. Part B is, the committee has exactly three doctors. Part C is the committee must be all doctors or all nurses. And the last option is there must be at least four nurses. Now let us see how to answer such a question. The very first one that we are selecting a committee of five members from ten doctors and eight nurses and there are no restrictions. So basically what we have here is total number of persons are 10 plus 8, 18, right? So n is 18. So what we have here is n equals to 18. And we need to select 5. So r is 5. And since it is a committee, all have the same status, correct? And therefore, the solution is 18c5, correct? So that becomes the number of ways in which this committee can be selected. So you can always use your calculator, find the answer. It is 18 and the com NCR formula, right? 5 equals 2. So we get the result as 85.68, right? Now, part B is the committee has exactly three doctors. So if we select three doctors out of a five-member committee, then that means we are left with two nurses. Now, three doctors are selected from ten doctors. So, as far as the doctors are concerned, we are selecting three from ten doctors. We have ten C3 for the doctors. And we are selecting nurses rest are nurses, right? Exactly three doctors. So two out of eight. So from eight, we have two, right? So that is the number of combinations. Now in this particular case, since this is followed by that and, right, that means it gets multiplied. So that becomes the answer for part B. So let's calculate this answer. It is 10 C R is 3 equals to 120 times 8 C2, which is 28, right? So when you multiply this, you get 28 times 120 as equals to 3360, right? So these are the different number of ways. Part C is the committee must be all doctors or, or means plus, right, all nurses. So, so we have now the operator or, that means plus, all doctors or all nurses. So that is what it is. Now, there are 10 doctors, so we are selecting 5 members, right. So that means we have to select 5 all doctors means 5 out of 10, and that gives us the combination 10C5. Now, if you do this selection, then as far as the nurses are concerned, none of them is selected from 8, so you may write 8C0, which you know is 1, right? So 1 times anything is that number itself. Now, if you select all nurses, that means you are selecting 5 out of 8, and therefore it is 8C5 times no doctors are selected this time so 10C0 and you can use the calculator to find this answer so let's calculate so 10C5 so 10C5 equals to 252 well this is 1 so I should have multiplied but anyway plus 8C5 so 8C5 equals to 56. And when you add them up, let me add 252 to 
256, we get 308 as our answer, right? So let's look into part D, which is there must be at least four nurses. Now we are having a committee of five members. At least four nurses means you could have four nurses or you could have five nurses. So when we say or, that means we need to add it up, correct? So that is what it is. Now if you select four nurses, these are being selected from eight nurses, right? So we can say, uh, I mean, eight C4, right? That is selecting four nurses. Since we need a committee of five members, one doctor is selected, right? So it is out of 10, one is selected plus five nurses means out of eight we select five and the number of doctors will then be zero right so it be 10 c zero so we can calculate this and find the answer correct so it gives us eight c four which is equal to 70 10 c one you know is one so that is 70 plus 8C5 and that is 56 56 and that gives you the value as sorry we did not multiply by 10C1 8 that should be multiplied by 10C1 so 10C1 which is 10 I should have multiplied this by 10 so there is 700 right 700 so it is it is 70 times 10 plus 8 C 1 is 56 times 10 C 0 is 1 so so we get 756 as the result so that is how you can solve such questions now it is very important to understand that when you are selecting different kinds of committees you need to see when to add and when to multiply. So when there are options with or, then you're adding, right? And whenever there is and, you're multiplying. In a committee, since all are at the same level, it is always combination. So remember these two that should help you to answer most of the questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.